what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel today i've got another nba news video to kind of be going over with you guys this time I'm actually going to be talking about a recent golden state warriors report that does suggest they have recently just signed quindary weatherspoon i think that's kind of you know how you say it I don't know, it's kind of like Reese Witherspoon, I guess, but it's kind of like Weatherspoon. I don't know, I thought I'd kind of do like a face cam for this video because I've already been doing a little bit of face cam stuff with my other channel, my gaming channel, and I don't know if there's going to be much footage on this guy at all. I don't really know too much about this guy, but you know, I'm always talking about all the latest Golden State Warriors news, so even though I don't necessarily know too much about him, I thought, you know what, some of you, I'm hoping, will still like to hear my opinions on this, but basically, let's just go into the details real quick. When we are looking at Quindary with the spoon, we also got to talk about kind of the Golden State Warriors list is right now. Right now, it's in a really weird spot because they have a lot of spots kind of open, you know, their 15th man is still there. Um, I believe Jordan Bell is also on a non-guaranteed deal, I think he's going to be really you know, fighting to get on the team. But they're also kind of looking for some two-way players. They did bring in Chris Chioza, which I thought was still a, a relatively good get because he can be another point guard to kind of come in, I guess, do his thing. But when we look at Witherspoon right now, they did bring him in as a six foot three, kind of just combo guard, I guess. He is apparently a, a shooting guard. I don't know if he's necessarily too good at playing the point guard, but hey, he did spend some time on San Antonio where he basically was their 49th overall pick in the 2019 NBA draft. You know, his most minutes he played was in his first season. He played 11 games on 7.1 minutes per game. Only 20% from three on about one assist and 1.1 points per game. While in the next season, he played 20 games where he got about only six minutes per game, where his three-point percentage went to 16%, which is mind-blowing how you can be an NBA player and average 16% from three. But he did average 2.3 points per game and 0.4. From what I'm gathering, you know, he does look like he is a good three-point shooter, though, because in 2019, he averaged around 40% from three uh, at Missouri, uh, Mississippi State. So it's kind of like, well, what, how did it go so wrong in the NBA? But again, when we're looking at the Warriors right now, I'm not exactly too sure what they're going to be doing because their 15th spot, in my opinion, should be kind of solidified. I think Avery Bradley is their perfect 15th man really right now. He kind of plays that Sean Livingston, you know, type of role. And you don't really need to bring in a scorer. This guy seems like a scorer. I think he might be an okay defender too. Again, I'm not exactly too sure. I don't know a ton about this guy. I'm kind of in the blank as much as a lot of you guys are. Um, but I'm here to give my thoughts and opinions kind of how I'm like, I don't think he really fits for the team. I feel like Avery Bradley is such a good player to bring in because he can play off ball being a decent three-point shooter. Well, also being, you know, an elite defender at times, you know, being able to guard the perimeter. Um, and Kiri is a bit of a different story, but he can switch from 1 through 3. We all know this by now. And they've got a backup point guard now. We've seen how insane Jordan Poole was in, you know, kind of pre-season. He looks like he's going to be a combo guard off the bench, but mainly, I think he's going to be a shooting guard playing the point guard position um, because his ball handle got way better. Like, really, really good, but... He can kind of share the flow of Avery Bradley. Both of them can play point guard. Both of them can play shooting guard now. Both can handle the ball, but both of them can play off ball. Both are like a really good three-point shooters now. And Jordan Poole, his shot is falling. And he's going to be their new shot creator. Like, you've already got shot creators like Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins. I think they were looking for that extra, you know, because Clay Tomley got injured for a while ago. They've definitely been looking for that guy to step in. Now that Clay's hopefully back, you know... I uh, hope that he doesn't get an injury again. They're going to be still needing, I feel like, another shot creator. And Jordan Poole is going to kind of solidify that role. I'm not too sure what this, you know, Quindary Witherspoon, or Weatherspoon rather, um, kind of brings in. I'm not exactly too sure. Again, he is 25 years of age. Maybe they're just, you know, kind of bringing him as a two-way. Maybe he'll, like, kind of prove himself in the NBA, see if he can... You know, maybe get a minute here and there. You know, Chris Chios is the other two-way dude. I believe he was playing preseason the other day against the Lakers and was actually really good. I believe he hit, like, a couple of threes and one even in, like, LeBron's face or something. I don't really know. Maybe it was Carmelo's face. I don't know. I still feel like, though, Chris Chios could be a really nice two-way play for them and could maybe even deserve himself a spot in the NBA eventually. This Weatherspoon dude, though, I'm not exactly too sure. It's kind of odd, in my opinion, how the Golden State Warriors have been 
you know, making these moves pretty late. Of course, they got rid of Langston Galloway. They didn't like what they saw out of him. That was obvious. They didn't need another shot creator. That's all Langston Galloway was going to do. If you're going to sign Langston Galloway as your 15th man, it'd be so pointless. Like, imagine signing Langston Galloway, who was a shot creator, over, you know, like a, a bunch of other players, really. Like, I'm trying to figure, you know, think of some players when, like, too many came to my head. Like, my, you wouldn't sign him over John Bell because John Bell could be our third center for them. That's pretty obvious. I, I'd probably even give Chris Chioza kind of the nod. He's probably a better, like, just point guard type role. But the obvious one is Avery Bradley. Why would you sign Langston Galloway over Avery Bradley? And that's why they waived him. It was very simple. It was always going to be like that. I think they just want to see if Langston Galloway could maybe just pop off, you know, just somehow. But... I think Langston Galloway might go play for their G League team now. He's just going to wait for a call-up and maybe go play overseas. A player like him would be perfect for Australia's league, the NBL. They're looking for some scorers. It seems all they sign is like defensive players. You know, they just recently signed Matthew Dalla Vadova. Um, before him, they signed Aaron, uh, you know, uh, Andrew Bogut, rather. Um, who knows if Aaron Baines... Uh, he's not a great defender anymore, but he's still a good three-point shooter. Um, if he, he might go to the NBL, I don't know, Langston Galloway, I feel like could be a really good star. You know, getting paid like $400,000 a year playing for one of the Australian teams. That could definitely be an option. Um, but hey, maybe he just goes to their G League team. But I think Avery Bradley's the dude. I don't know if this, you know, Quindary Weatherspoon dude is. And I feel like it kind of sucks for him too, because... Even though he did just get signed, which, hey, good for him. He just got signed. He kind of missed out on the whole entire, like, pre-season. Like, are they signing him to bring him into the season? Or are they just signing him on training camp? He's going to, like, train with the team now. Because I don't know if the Warriors have another pre-season game. I don't think they do. I could be wrong. But does that mean he's just kind of going to be there? Like, is he going to get a minute in the NBA? I'm not sure. Maybe he's just, like, a G League dude that will sometimes be called up for some NBA games. That could be the kind of thing. But I think they're going to give Chris Chioza the minutes before they do him. But, you know, I think a lot of Warriors fans are kind of hoping this. I think they need to sign Avery Bradley as their 15th man. Enough, you know, with signing all these dudes. You know, Jordan Bell even. He's not going to be the 15th man. You can't possibly tell me Jordan Bell is a better option at this point than Bradley is. We've seen how good Bradley was for them in preseason. Jordan Ballard just doesn't necessarily make too much sense for me, and I expect him to get waived in the upcoming days, because I don't think you could sign Jordan Bell as a two-way player. I think he's been in the league too long. I think it's three years or less you're allowed to sign him in. I think Jordan Bell will probably be heading into like his fourth or fifth season. Yeah, because he got drafted in like 2017, so it should be like 17 to 18 season, 19 to 20, 20... Oh, dude, I don't even... 20 to 21... Ah, uh, 20. Uh, he's going to cut it close. I don't think he's going to be eligible for the two-way, though. That's going to be really hard to see. But, hey, he's just a really good locker room dude. But Avery Bradley is the pure talent that they need. A ball handler, just a defender, uh, a good three-point shooter to come in for the team. Just a, a really good role player that kind of fits that Warriors mold. If I was them, um, yeah, I'd be getting Avery Bradley. But, hey, maybe this Quindary Weatherspoon dude, they see something in him. They want to see if he can do something in the G League. And... If he can, maybe get some NBA minutes. Who knows? Maybe in a year or so, I'm looking at this like, wow, what, how stupid was I to not even give this guy a chance? Maybe he explodes or something like that and uh, just crashes onto the scene. But I really don't know. I don't know if he's going to be able to get minutes in this Warriors team, especially as a shooting guard, considering they've got a bunch of combo guards and shooting guards like, you know, John Poole, Clay Thompson, uh, you know, Steph Curry, the point guard, I guess. But, you know, you still, still can play the role. And the list goes on, Moses Moody, dude, even if you look at, you know, Moses Moody could get some minutes, but it's just like, you know, you could even look at Avery Bradley's there as well, I just don't know if it's going to happen, even Chris Triosa, I think he's getting minutes over him, but hey, who even knows, we could, maybe we've got to give the dude a chance, but... Of course, I would very much like to hear all your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all that's NBA content and NBA news. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MI Rose Slack for Long Channel, and my podcast channel if you haven't already. And comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on the Golden State Warriors signing? Gundary Weatherspoon. I keep having to look at his name. I don't know. It's a bit of a tongue twister, and I just keep thinking of Race Witherspoon for some reason. I don't know. Definitely let me know down below. But as I was saying, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.
Stars through the house. 